very tight brace. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, Crown. The Black House by Peter May, Silver Oak, here in the United States and, and Quercus in the UK. Trust Your Eyes by Linwood Barkley, NAL. Defending Jacob by William Landay, Delacourt. Live by Night by Dennis Lehane, Morrow. And Dead Scared by S.J. Bolton, Minotaur. And the winner is Peter May for The Black House. came all the way from France, so another round of applause for that. Well, I've, um, I've given up winning my kilt at um, book conventions, you know, because you always tend to be standing up on a stage and I've always noticed how many people come down to the front there, curious about the um, rumours about what Scotsman wear beneath the kilt. Um, this is a, a fantastic award to win for me, and um, particularly in light of the fact that it's The Black House. Because The Black House was a very special book for me when I wrote it, um, which was nearly eight years ago now. Um, because I felt at the time that I wrote it, it was the best thing I'd ever written. But it was rejected by every publisher in the UK. And, um, you, you know, it's, it's a desperate feeling, those of you who've had books rejected, you know what it feels like. And I went off and wrote other things, and I'd given up on the book altogether. Um, and I, it was a chance conversation with my French publisher when I mentioned that I had a manuscript of a book which I thought was the best thing I'd ever written that nobody wanted to publish, and she said, well, I'd like to read it. So I sent it to her, and she phoned me back six weeks later and said, I love it, I want to buy World Rights, which was unheard of for a French publisher to buy World Rights in a, in a, a book written in the English language. But they translated it into French, it became a bestseller in France, they took the book to Frankfurt, everybody bought it, the Germans, the Italians, the Spanish, all, all around Europe, eventually, the English. <laughs> Always one, I can say that because I'm Scottish, I blame them for everything. Um, <laughs> um, and it, but fortunately it was, a, it was a publisher who hadn't existed at the time um, that the book was first being circulated, Quercus. Um, and, and I owe them a huge uh, debt of gratitude for the way that they've turned this book and the, the subsequent trilogy into the success that it's become. Um, and uh, the book's been very successful in France and, and it's, it's actually won several awards there, but you know, this is special because it's the first award that the book has won in the English language, <laughs> the language it was written in. Um, so that's very special for me to come here to the, the United States and, and win this award. So um, a, a big thank you to George and the readers of Deadly Pleasure. George has been a great supporter of, of my books ever since the first of the China thrillers was published in 99, I think it was. Um, uh, so a huge thank you to the readers of Deadly Pleasures, to my publisher Quercus in the UK and here in the US. Uh, and, and I shouldn't forget, most of all, the lady who rescued the book from oblivion, my French publisher, Daniel Dastou. Many thanks indeed. Thank you very much. He has a fabulous video on YouTube explaining that story in more detail. So look on YouTube. Peter made a black house.